All right, welcome back into 41 today. A local barber started Clean Cut Barber Shop and began turning ordinary barbers into bosses. His name is Kente White, and joining us on 41 today is Kente White. Thanks, hey, for, thanks for coming in. Thanks. Uh, so let's talk uh, about what you do, because uh, turning ordinary barbers uh, into bosses, uh, how do we do that? What we do is we take uh, young individuals that want to believe in themselves, step out there on faith. They want to uh, create different ways to feed their families. So what I do is I take them in, I train them, I give them the ropes, I show them everything about how to run a business, and then I send them out there into the world to create different opportunities for everybody else. So where did this, uh, it, I'm sure it's kind of passion driven in a way, obviously it's a business decision as well. Uh, yes. That certainly benefits the community in a way. Uh, where'd the passion come from to, to kind of help the local youth and, and get them into uh, being a barber and, and then eventually being a boss? Because um, when I was younger, I, I had a little trouble. I ran into some trouble with the law myself. Okay. So therefore, I wasn't able to get a job when I got a little older. So either I had to drive trucks or cut grass or things of that nature, and I just decided to become my own boss instead of waiting on someone else to give me a job. Uh, yeah, and that's, uh, that's certainly uh, is a special thing that you're doing. Yeah. Uh, so what are some of the things that you, the, the, that you teach these guys? I teach them uh, professionalism, how to be there on time, how to just set a good example, have a, give, have a good, clean atmosphere for the business when they come in. I teach them how to invest in themselves and how to believe in themselves. It's, it's certain some of those soft skills uh, yeah. that, that a lot of people aren't taught in classrooms that you've kind of come in and said, you know, this is how you act. If you want to be a boss, you kind of have to act a certain way, carry yourself a certain way. Uh, let's talk C Central Georgia Technical College because I hear that, that sort of prepared you in a way uh, to pursue this. Exactly. Uh, it was Sandra Lane and uh, Terrence Schenholster. They were my mentors and, uh, as well as uh, Miss Primus. Okay. They showed me everything I knew. Some of the success stories that you've had so far, I know that uh, you've had a couple of these take off uh, and you pass the business down to the people that you've that you've mentored and sort of tutored. Uh, some of the success stories you've had so far, Kente. I've actually had two of my barber and classmates. They came up under me uh, as well. Like when I was leaving, they were coming in to the Central Georgia Tech class. They came in, they stayed up under me two years and they got their own shops as well. Very cool, very cool. Uh, last thing I want you to get out there, some of the locations that people can stop by if they need to hear come. They can stop by 3872 Pine on Avenue. That's in the uh, City Trans Plaza next to Roses. Or they can go to the indoor flea market location that's 3460 Eisenhower Parkway or they can go to the one over there uh, 3640 House and Avenue. There's a lot of them. It's a, it's a whole <laughs> brand. Clean Cut Barbershop brand uh, is really kind of taking over middle Georgia uh, and it's doing more than giving good haircuts. Uh, it's certainly helping the community, helping some of these younger guys uh, get on the ground and uh, sort of take off in a way, be their own bosses. Thanks for coming in, Kente. Uh, for more information, we'll put it on our website. We'll be right back after this break.